why do women cheat? It's been one question that always on a man's mind. Why did she cheat? What did I not do right? Women cheat for no reason. They cheat when you don't give them money. They cheat when you don't give them attention. They cheat when you don't talk to them. They cheat when you don't buy them something. They cheat for different reasons because they want to cheat. People who cheat in a relationship are weak people. People who cannot make decisions for themselves. People who do not know what they want. People who want temporal happiness. Those are people who cheat. Why do you cheat? Because my boyfriend did not give me attention. And somebody gives you one minute attention, you throw your legs open to him. Give the person two weeks. The person is not going to give you the same attention they gave you the first day that they met you. Why did you cheat? He gave me money. My boyfriend does not have, have money. Different useless reason. Now, let me tell you something. Cheating is a decision. It is not condition that make women cheat. People cheat because they want to cheat. You know why? Condition will always happen. At some point in life, your boyfriend will not talk to you. Maybe he has mood swings. At some point in life, he might not have money to give you. Maybe he doesn't have at that point in time. And there's a point. Condition will always happen. So any woman that tells you that she cheated because of condition, does not know what she's saying. Now, this is the point. A lot of women feel that when they cheat, they are hurting a man or they are hurting their men. But that's where you get it wrong. Whenever you decide to cheat, you cheat yourself. You are fooling yourself. It's your body count. Whenever you decide to want to sleep with five different men, you are not smart. You are the foolish one. Don't think that you are making your boyfriend foolish or you are making your husband foolish. Hey, you are the foolish person. Is your body count. Don't forget that after doing those things, you are not proud of talking about it. You can't even say it. They have never given certificate for if you slept with 20 or 25 men. It has never been something that has been in record. It has been something people have been ashamed to talk about. People are ashamed to talk about their body count. Now, the fact is, you are doing it to yourself. It's your body. Your body is you that have the body. That's the point I'm getting to in this video. Cheating is a choice. A lot of women feel that when they cheat, they hurt their spouse. When you cheat, you hurt yourself. You need to be able to see cheating like something that is wrong. Do it for yourself. Set rules for yourself. When you cheat, it simply means that you are weak. It simply means that you can't make decisions. It simply means that you are not strong. It simply means that you are gullible. Because for every, every time life throws condition at you, you cheat. For every time you are unhappy, you cheat. For every time there is no money, you cheat. For every time there is a small misunderstanding, you cheat. It simply means you are indecisive. You don't have a solid ground. It simply means you are confused. It simply means you don't know what you want. As a woman, you are not hurting the man. You're hurting yourself. Now, for every time you begin, you sleep with different men. Have you noticed something? They have similarities. What this man did to you that you could not endure, the other man will still do it to you. At the end of the day, who is the fool? How many men have you slept with that gave you the money that you want? It simply means you have to sleep with several men. How many Ron's girl have slept with one man and became rich? None of them. Several men. Several men. Several body counts. Several manhood. Several different spirits going into your body. And you say you are smart. My darling, you are foolish. Life will always throw condition at you. You see condition? It never ends. So people who cheat are people who are indecisive, are people who don't have minds of their own, are people who are gullible, are small-minded people. Cheating or no cheating is supposed to be a decision. Fidelity is a decision. I want to be faithful. I am trustworthy. It's not because you are in a relationship. It is because that is the right thing to do. 
When you are faithful, it simply means you have a rule. It simply means you have a guidance. It simply means you have your do's and you have your don'ts. It simply means you have a life. It simply means you have a vision. It simply means you have a direction. You are not being faithful for a man or being faithful for a woman. Change that perception to life. You are being faithful because that is the right thing to do at that point in time. When you are faithful, you are focused. When you are faithful, you can achieve. When you are faithful, it simply means you are dedicated. When you are faithful, it simply means that you want to achieve something. That's what fidelity does. You are not doing anybody a favor in a relationship to be faithful. That's what a lot of us think, both the men and the women. You think that when you are faithful to your wife, you are helping her. You think that when you are faithful, you are not helping anybody, you are helping yourself. The more you sleep with different people, you, you are distracted. Because when you cheat, you lie. When you lie, you lie. When you lie, 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 you lie, 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 and keep lying. Now, these days, lie the hard self. Because you're going to exhaust the whole lie. Your brain is not working effectively. And guess what? You are exhausting your energy in something that is unproductive. <laughs> keep lying about something that is unproductive. You keep lying about something that doesn't make sense. You keep putting your energy in the wrong place. Every time you are sneaking, you are hiding, you are deleting chats, you are deleting message. You all product something that did not give you anything. Have you not noticed when you are cheating that you are just being stupid? You will be dodging <laughs> before it. Hey, hey, the point is, you are not doing it for the person. We guess it's all wrong because we think when we cheat, we hurt the next person. You are hurting yourself. When the person is no longer there, it is yourself that you are hurting. You yourself. Now, if you are able to come in terms, if you are able to come to terms with that, you will be able to be faithful to yourself. It's going to help you focus. It's going to give you a vision. It's going to give you a direction. It's going to give you a mission. When you are faithful to yourself, what is fidelity? Fidelity simply means this is what I want to do. This is what I want to follow. With or without a man. With or without a woman. This is my principle to life. Personally, me, I don't go out in the night. Whether I'm in a relationship, whether I'm in marriage, I am not a night crawler. Why? Because I have been able to understand that when you crawl in the night, right? If anything happened to you, nobody can say your story. In the daytime, it is here for someone to say, okay, I saw this thing, I saw this thing. So I've been able to have that understanding. I'm not going out in the night because I have a boyfriend. It's something I don't want to do because I understand the implication. Do you understand the implication of cheating? When you cheat, when you sleep with different people, you mess up your body. You mess up your mind. You mess up your ideology to life. You begin to think that your body can give you everything. You begin to think that your body can take you anywhere. But it's a lie. That's why this is when you tell women that you can actually make money without your body. They will say it's a lie. It's because you are used to cheating. It's because you are used to cheating on yourself. Whenever you cheat, you cheat on yourself. You don't cheat on the other person. You make a fool of yourself. Yes. Then why you always cheat is because you feel like you are doing people a favor by not cheating. That's the reason why you always cheat. You are not doing anybody a favor by cheating. You are not doing anybody a favor by jumping from place to place. You are doing yourself a favor. I ask you a question. If somebody asks you now, what is your body count? Can you be proud to tell them? Okay, let's leave somebody. If you stand in front of the mirror, can you be proud to hit your chest and say, Ah, I fucked 50 men. What is your achievement? Do you now see that you are the foolish one? Stop that rubbish.